Hi, and welcome back to our course. And this section is called Working with the Product Backlog. In this section, we're going to take a look at introducing you to the Kanban board, entering and editing details on a Kanban board, customizing columns on the Kanban board, recording the definition of done, really important, and lastly, understanding the cumulative flow diagram. So with that, let's go in and introduce you to the Kanban board in TFS. In this video, we're going to talk about the story of Kanban. We're going to briefly touch on how Kanban came about. We're going to briefly talk about some of the principles of Kanban. And then we're going to talk about some of the benefits you gain by using a process like Kanban. So the story of Kanban was created by Toyota Manufacturing. And they found it as a way in which they could manage their supply and demand of parts as it's going through the assembly line process. And there's a lot of information out there on the internet about it, but basically that's the gist of it. When, when something was empty, they'd throw a card in and it'd get filled back up. And then a bin would, next bin would come in and, and when there was a backup, they would see they would actually adjust and not fill up more in the backlog or the, in the bins, they would clear out where the bottleneck was. In this case, maybe on the assembly line, there was a bottleneck in the tire section. And therefore, they would back up there and they would go and clear that up before they would actually go and start adding in more and more and more pieces to it. So rather than continually bringing parts, they would stop what they're doing, clean up their, their bottleneck, and then continue to bring parts in. And so they found that that was a really efficient way in which to work with manufacturing. So it was introduced to software by a gentleman by the name of David Anderson. Now, there's a lot of folks who writ, wrote and written books about Kanban out there. It seems that David was the first one to put out a book on Kanban. I don't know that he actually is the, the only one that came up with the idea. I'm sure a lot of people did. But the idea is, is now we can take that way of managing our bottlenecks and manage it in a particular way in software in, on, a, on a Kanban board. And so that's what came of that. And, they, and because the, the flow could be tracked really well, Visual Board was a really good way to do it. So what are some of the basic principles of Kanban? Well, visualize. Again, being able to see where my bottlenecks are, what's in my system to start with, even if there are no bottlenecks, what is out there? What is new? What's been approved? What's been committed? You know, being able to see all that really helps us understand where the project's at. Next is our WIP limits. We can manage WIP limits. WIP stands for work in progress. And you put WIP limits on each column in your Kanban board. So for example, in my approved column, I, if you can see from this visual, I have five whip points. So basically I can have five items in that column before I have to start really addressing it because it's going to start backing up and bottlenecking. So we, like I said, we can have up to five in there and then when we get those five we have to really start looking at, okay, if these are all approved we got to get some work done. And the same thing with new, if you want to put some Kanban point limits around that, which I don't normally do because your work items should just be able to be dumped into the system as new. When you go into the approved and the committed stages, that's when I like to use the WIP limits. And the same thing with committed. When Once it's been committed, again, you want to track how many WIP points we're going to have. And we want to make sure that we don't bottleneck over there. And if we do, we want to adjust and move on. And so that kind of manages the flow of the Kanban board because we're going from the new to approved to the committed and eventually out to done. So what are some of the benefits of using Kanban or a method like it? First off, we have shorter cycle times. Again, we can see quicker what's going on and we can react faster, which means we basically have shorter times to do the work and to respond to the work. So again, it comes up with shorter cycle times for us. We're not constantly wasting cycles on stuff rather than we're being, becoming more efficient at what we're doing. We can respond to that change faster. Again, we can visually see it on a Kanban board, but the whole Kanban process allows us to respond to that change much faster than it would, say, in other processes. Rather than, like I said before, bringing the parts in constantly, even though there's a bottleneck, continuing to bring those parts in, 
doesn't make sense when you when you hit a bottleneck. And so with same thing with the software version when we're using Kanban. We don't want to keep adding stuff to our columns if there's a bottleneck. We want to stop, respond to that. We see that we have a bottleneck. Let's do something about it and then go back to adding stuff to the column again. And we have rapid feedback loops. So we can see visually what is going on. You know, we can tell in a moment's notice, are we backed up? Do we need to take care of this bottleneck? Are things flowing smoothly? Do we have too many you know, in-progress items? Do we have too many approved items? Again, all this can be responded to in a quicker fashion, and you get that feedback from the system a lot faster. Okay, so let's wrap up this video on the introduction to Kanban. What did we talk about? We talked about a little bit about the story of Kanban. We talked about some of the principles of Kanban. So now we talked about where it came from, kind of where it grew out of the Toyota methods, and some of the principles that we talked about for the flow of Kanban and you know how we can use Kanban in, in an everyday world in the software development. And lastly, we talked about the benefits of Kanban. What are we gaining from using the Kanban process?